Question is, what kind of a relationship have you had with Mark Marquez? Let's say hello and goodbye. <laughs> somewhat after you have dinner and take a little group photo that's going to be hard to get everybody down but I'm sure we can do it because everybody made it up here and then at the end of that there may be another rider hopefully that uh, you probably want to meet. No, I won't be here. Everybody doing all right? Yeah. R1M, yeah. Everybody owns one? Raise your hand. Everybody? Well, they have a desk, so they... What are you doing here, then? <laughs> uh, no, we, uh, a couple years ago, we did uh, some European ride days, and that, that's the last road bike I've ever ridden, and honestly, the electronics, what we used to run, well, what those guys that are not retired still use, um, it's about as close as it can get. I was really impressed. I did probably seven or eight days on it, and we rode the shit out of it, so, uh, <laughs> so it was good fun, but it's... Pretty dang close to electronics that, that these guys got on their bikes. So. What track do you like better, Laguna Seca or this one? I don't like this track. I never like this track, to be honest. It's, uh, it's great. I mean, the atmosphere is good and the stand and the visibility, but as far as a, a motorcycle track, you have five person corners around yeah. here, and it's tough. And it's tough on us and the guys out there. It's just physically demanding. Uh, and that's why you'll see here, Mark has dominated here. It's one every, he's one every year. It's one every they had. Particular bikes work good here, and some bikes don't work at all. So it's a, it's a very competitive track. But uh, Laguna was by far the best. Before we bring up some others, I'd like to introduce Keith Cofern from Alpine Star. And if you know what Alpine Star is, we have a very special, through Keith's efforts, uh, Alpine Star is going to be offering a very limited edition R1M jacket just for you you guys and people. So please give Heath a big round of applause. He's our guy from now. Hey, Heath! He is, well, you all have R1N, so you're all super enthusiasts. <laughs> Heath is another super enthusiast, so he's great to have on board and great, he's a great ally for us in Yamaha. So Heath, show him your jacket. Thank you, Bob. And there's some reflective elements on the back, so if anyone rides a tank, there's a little bit of reflectivity on the back. It's all about being comfortable and perforated. The inside is really nice. It has a liner that comes out, so when it's colder in the mornings, you keep the liner in. When it gets warmer, you just take the liner out and breathe the main So it's really nice on a hot day like today. Very versatile, really cool offering for you guys. Cool? Okay. Thank you. Heath Cofer from Alpine Star. Thanks, Heath. Thank you. It's a beautiful jacket, man. <laughs> I'd like to bring up the uh, crew chief for Johan Zarco who was top Yamaha uh, in position two today in, in qualifying two, not qualifying two, free practice two, Mr. Guy Kulon. Give him a big round of applause. Hey. I've used this term before, but we talk about super enthusiasts. So Guy has been involved with MotoGP basically forever. 
The Tech 3 team is a French team led by Mr. Ferve Poncheral over here, who we'll bring up. Uh, he is, uh, the team is basically French, and Johan Zarco is a French rider, so it's a kind of a match made in heaven. So he uh, has a very big collection. How many bikes do you have at home? About 40. You get 40 bikes at home. Wow. So some vintage bikes and all kinds of interesting things. So. I'll just ask a question, as I know you got to get back downstairs. So, what? Uh, how did you do it today? How did? How did? What did you put in the bike to allow <coughs> your hand to go so quick? Ah, um, I think we had um, quite good setting, basic setting to start this morning, because especially on this track, the first uh, section is uh, quite hard because you need to be able to turn without using a front brake. So if your bike is not turning easy, it's some, sometimes it's very difficult to recover. So when we start this morning, we had a uh, good turning. Then uh, this afternoon, we improved a little bit the uh, bike, uh, especially rear uh, traction for pushing or drive after uh, initial uh, touch. Then um, also beginning of this uh, afternoon session we use the tire from this morning until uh, race distance and we can keep a good, uh, a, a good pace until uh, lap 21. Then uh, Johan was quite uh, confident with the bike. Then we put uh, new tires, front and rear, bits of the compound. Then we can use uh, this new tire very well, then you get this up time. So you can see there's a lot, go, it's not a matter of just go fast, there's a lot involved in it with adjusting and changing the bike to allow the rider to do something like that. So now I'd like to bring up uh, a couple of, oh, 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 I didn't see him hiding there. So <laughs> let's uh, bring up uh, number five. Please welcome Mr. Johan Zarko. <laughs> So we have a big crowd, so you have to, as loud as you can. So uh, you did okay today. <laughs> Very much. Yes. So can, so how did you do? I really just enjoy uh, here in Texas. Uh, I didn't expect to be in second position because Marcus is so strong here, so I can almost think that I'm, I'm first. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> he's over game. But uh, now uh, the target was to work well for try to prepare the race because anyway we are pushing all the weekend. But the, the main point I is the race on Sunday. And finally, after doing many laps and good work with the team, it was time to to improve the lap time, and uh, and I did it. So I think it's just a perfect situation for me at the moment. And uh, I'm still learning, and it's necessary to take the time and overall enjoy because over 300 k's if you don't enjoy uh, it becomes dangerous that's why uh, I love the Yamaha bike I can say Yamaha here I think it <laughs> 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 but now um, it's a nice bike to ride and um, also here difficult track uh, you can if you go to Clinic Mobile all riders are so tired but it's the this circuit that asks you so much energy, it means that if you, if you feel good, you, you can do it well. So, uh, eight today, yes, is that correct? Yeah. In free practice two. So, you rode this track for Moto 2 before, but first time on Moto GP bike. So, what can you tell him? You've got to kind of speak up loud. We have a lot of people. So, tell us about uh, how it went today in, in both practice sessions and what you think of the track. Uh, today went not so bad. Uh, it's uh, every every year is a new challenge here in Austin because it's uh, such a technical track and you have so many corners. And uh, especially for me because I'm a rookie on the on the GP bike, it was it was not so easy to to adapt. So I still have many many things to learn, many corners to to improve. But uh, we are analyzing and uh, I try to to improve tomorrow. But. Today we finished eight, so it's it's not a bad start, and uh, but we still have yes some things to improve, and uh, to maybe maybe we can go further to the front. Yeah.
So again, another testament, the four bikes were in position two, three, four, and eight, all within the top 10, so pretty good. Any questions before we have dinner for Jonas Folger? Back here, question. What is your favorite circuit and why? What is your favorite circuit and why is the question. I have many favorites because I love riding the bike, so. <laughs> um, I really like this track because it's, uh, as, I, as I said, it's a challenge because it's so different to the, to the rest of the calendar that we have. And, uh, but also I, I, I love uh, Phillip Island. It's uh, such a nice track, it's very fast. And uh, the place where it is, it's, it's, it's really nice. Uh, you think you are in holidays. <laughs> you know, it's uh, such a, an, a nice country there, and um, yes, also Sepang, I, I really like. It's very, very smooth, very floaty, and um, it's I enjoy riding there. So folks are in line for their. Hey man, how you doing, man? Hey, good seeing you. Hey, big guy. Awesome. Guys are in line for their meals here for the R1M Owners Appreciation Weekend here at MotoGP Circuit of the Americas. And yet again, Yamaha has pleased us with some awesome, awesome food. And since this year, there's about three times as many people as before. I think they have a lot of food for everybody. Look at that. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> you know the term, huh? Nice. Question back here. Uh, all through the preseason, you've been emphasizing your pace throughout the race. How do you manage that kind of maturity at your age? So how do you maintain pace? Your, your pace last race, almost every lap, with, within. Well, there, there is a work on the electronic, and also. On the bike, you know, normally like uh, today in FP2, we work so hard for the race. In deep down, put new tire and try to be in the front. And you know, then in the race, you take all the profit from that. You know, and you have to work for the race. And normally, uh, if you have a good bike, good setup, from lap one of the race to lap 20, you have to have two, three times maximum. That means that you did a good job. And normally now we are. Uh, Doing that, you know, in Qatar I make my best lap time in the last lap, and in, in Argentina I was able to keep the pace. So we are working really hard as in FP2 to try to, you know, at least don't make the tire go down, just keeping on the on the good grip. Question back here. Speak what up. What you so much faster on the uh, Yamaha versus the Suzuki last year? What makes the bike so much better? All the areas. It's a, a little bit better, so it's a more um, stable bike for sure on the fast corner but you have also a lot of grip on the rear so you can make a good acceleration for me it's a bike that have a little bit more in all the areas and uh, i can push more myself also because the bike permit me to go even faster also the team have a lot of experience they have many championships and many races that they win so i can take a lot of profit also i improve as a rider for that because i know now how to manage better the electronics and also how to planificate all the race. I'm, I'm just going to add to that and I'll ask a little question. So I've seen this weekend, so after free practice one and two, your debrief after you get off the bike is very short, five, ten minutes and then you're done. So what are you telling your technical crew in such a short amount of time? I tell I wanted to put this off tire. <laughs> 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 to be in the front. But uh, honestly, I'm not the rider who passed many time in the box. I give them the exactly the points I need to improve, what I feel the bike needs to improve, and then they make their own work. I'm not the, the technical guy who say, maybe if we put the bike down or up, hard suspension, <coughs> it's their work. So I just try to explain my feelings. And then in the morning we talk like 10 minutes, <laughs> what they change on the bike, what is the plan for the bike. So normally I don't spend so much time in the box. Uh, it helps because I don't stay so much the, the mechanics and they can have free time to, to work. Thank you. One, one more question. Back here. What sort of a relationship have you had with Mark Marquez? The question is, what kind of a relationship have you had with Mark Marquez? Let's say hello and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not so friendly. Anyway, it's good. We have respect. Uh, we know long term we're going to be the, the real rivals, you know. 
Anyway, we we all riders trying to be friendly, kind, and have a lot of respect from from each other. Awesome. I think we ought to give him a big hand. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. His autograph. So he's got it. I don't know if you can sign a few, but yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. You tell me he can't stay too long. So oh, look at that! He's getting it signed. Oh. We will find another one. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have to. We have to let him. He has that. Okay. That wraps up yet another fantastic production from Yamaha with the R1M owners. Awesome, awesome event here at Circuit of the Americas during MotoGP weekend. And Yamaha pleased us yet again and pulled out all the stops for the R1M owners. It was a great event. Everyone's very happy. The special guests that came on were absolutely ex exciting and exceptional. Maverick came up. Rossi came out. We had a group picture. The food was great. It's race day here at MotoGP Austin, Texas, Circuit of the Americas. Very loud, lots of people. You never know who you're going to run into at MotoGP. We've got Billy Bean Moto, and she looks just as stunning in real life as she does in her videos. You do one of your dance moves from your videos? <laughs> that is awesome. Totally awesome. All right. Nice meeting you too. we go the cops follow us just can't get away from them and their state trooper Harley Davidson Rossi was in second place. With down in the dirt.